Hi guys, I'm here today to share with you some ways that I use to be organized in my Google Drive and just be really efficient in finding files and locating files and just using my drive. So I've made a top 10 list as you can see here. Uh, just my kind of go-to daily habits and practices that I want to share with you. Um, so I'm going to take you through them kind of quick and um, check them off as we go. The first thing is to have a quick way to access your Google Drive. Um, you want to be able to get there without thinking twice. I have mine open already here, but I can get back there really quickly just by simply typing in drive.google.com and knowing that shortcut, I don't even have to finish typing it because it knows it. And you can see my star is blue here, which means I bookmarked it. And you can see it's on my favorites right here. So click that star, add it to your favorites, have a quick way of getting back. And a little tip, um, you can access all of Google's apps by placing them before the .google.com. So drive.google.com mail.google.com. So know those shortcuts. They can really kind of help you be a little more efficient. My second tip for you is to create folders and subfolders. Um, you can see I have several folders here and then of course I can make subfolders inside of them. This is a perfect example. Here are my math files. Inside of those I might have, in my case I have grade levels. You might have unit one, unit two, but make subfolders, be organized. If you want to create a new file, open the folder it belongs in before you hit new. Um, or remember that you can always click on things and drag and drop them to place them where you'd like them to be. So I'm going to click my drive here that takes me home. So create folders and subfolders. You can be as organized as you need to. Um, kind of already showed you this one, but if you didn't put it in the folder where you want it, if you left it out, like me here, find where it should go and just simply take it and drag it. You can, you can, this is the easiest way to file your files. You can move it. If I release it, it will go in that folder. Notice when I started to drag, all of my folders also came up here on the left. And if it's a folder that has subfolders inside, you'll see it'll keep allowing me to drill down. You can also move folders by right clicking and clicking move to. So several ways, but just make sure you kind of drag and drop or whatever way fits you best, but you move files where they're supposed to be. Um, I am someone who uses the same folders and files frequently. So starring files is another great tip. Um, say that this is a folder I need to access every day. By right clicking it, I can add a star and what this is going to do is kind of make it my favorites. You'll notice over here to the left, I have a little starred subfolder. And it shows me everything that I've ever starred. So you can star entire folders or specific files that you know you access daily. So um, use this for those top files that you know you go back to frequently. Um, you don't want it to be too full, but you definitely want to be able to star those files and find them more easily. Another tip is color coding. Um, Google Drive lets you add colors to your folders. You can see I have one red folder here. Um, this really kind of just helps them pop out and make them a little more easily accessible. And you can color something and star it. So let's say I want this one to be green. I'm just right clicking. I want this one to be purple. Um, it makes it easy and come up with a system for yourself so a certain color represents a certain thing. And like I said, once you start getting a lot in your starred, you can absolutely color code and star something so you're still looking at that. All right, next is using your recent. Um, you'll notice over here to the left, in addition to the starred category, are recent files. Um, this is great because if you have recently been working in something, you can kind of go back and find it here. Um, it's just a quick way to access something that you know you've had open recently and you need to get back to. All right. Um, this is a big thing right here, adding shared files to your drive. People share files with you all the time. They share files with me all the time. And we have a bad habit of leaving them in this category. 
remember that shared files work kind of like an email inbox. Whatever's the most recent is on the top. And as people share things with you, you have to really drill down and scroll down to find them. So if it's something you know you're not just going to access one time and you know you're going to use it again and again, um, when they share it with you, right click and I'm going to pick one right here and click add to my drive. <clears throat> now, my math folder did not say that because it was already in my drive. It says move to. So if you don't see add to my drive, that means you've already added it. But if you see this option to add to my drive, that means you um, save it to your drive. And what's going to happen is I'm going to hit add to my drive here. And you'll see now I have a folder when I log in just to my Google Drive simply here. And I don't have to kind of shuffle through um, all of those incoming shared files. Another thing I want to show you is how you can change your view and your sort. Um, <clears throat> as you add more and more files, you may have different views that help you. Right now, mine's on grid mode. I like grid mode because you can see um, kind of like a, a, a stack here. But if you like them vertically, you can see a little more information. I can see who owns these files. I can see last modified. Um, Sometimes this helps you identify things a little more often. Um, for example, when I click in and I drill down to my files, I can see file type, file name, file size. I can also change it to grid. I like grid because it gives you little thumbnails, so if you, if you can recognize the way something looks. Um, also know your sorting options. Probably by default yours are sorted alphabetically, but you can also change that to fit your needs a little better. Um, if you have them sorted alphabetically, but you know you go to this folder every day, don't forget you can, well, let, me, let me do a different one. Let's say I go to this folder every day. It's called Google Sites. Well, alphabetically, Gmail is coming first. So what I could do is just come before this and add an asterisk or um, a number and you can see it can bump it up so you can cheat the system as well. Alright, this is probably the most helpful tip I will give you today. Search your Omnibox. So um, at the top is a box called your Omnibox and you are able to search for keywords. Um, notice that when I click to type it already gives me some options so I can filter the types of files I'm searching for. So if I know it was a Google Doc or a spreadsheet, I can actually filter it. Let's say that I'm looking for something that says Unit 1. I can click to search, and these are all the folders and files um, that have some kind of association with a Unit 1 in them. A lot of times it's in the name, but Google will actually start searching physical documents for um, unit 1 in the document if it can't find it. Now this little guy lets me drop down and add some filters to it. So right now it's any type. Let's say I knew it was a PDF. I can click this, hit search again, and it's going to filter it out so it's only finding PDFs that say unit 1. So use your Omnibox. This is your best friend. Even if you don't know what you called the file, if you know a keyword that relates to it, search for it up here. It will definitely help you find it. Um, and I've showed you some of those advanced features when I did the drop down from that arrow. All I simply did to access that was here. And notice that you can search by date modified. Um, has the words and you can add additional words, whoever the owner is or whoever it's shared with. So if you're really having a hard time locating files, um, you can definitely use some of this advanced criteria to quickly access your files. I hope that if you kind of establish um, these things that I've showed you, you will become a little more comfortable and a little more efficient. Um, just to go back through them, bookmark, Google Drive, create folders and subfolders, put files where they go, star them, color code them, um, remember some of your navigational features such as using your recent or your shared, um, just to access them very quickly. 
I did add one bonus here and that's just to kind of show you what I'm using. Um, today I'm using Google Keep and you can access that by keep.google.com keep or via the iPad app. And it's just a great way to stay organized, to make to-do lists or um, tasks or just notes. It's super quick and easy for me to get to from any device. And I can share to-do lists, so if I need to collaborate with others, um, just a great little feature. And of course, I can check them off as I'm done and see that now I have completed my list. Everything's still here, but it is checked out. And of course, I can add more. So thanks for joining me for 10 Ways to Be Organized in Google Drive. I hope that has helped you. And let me know how it works.